Soka Say So and Ricardo Drew on the Uber Soka Cruise 2016. We are excited that, that you're here. I'm excited that you're here. <laughs> Listen, we're happy to see that Antigua is represented on the board. What That's does that right. mean to you that Antigua is represented? Um, it, it was definitely an, an honor. Um, you know, being able to represent Antigua, there, there was like uh, a point in time where I felt like... You know, certain things need to change in terms of the, the representation of Antigua. And that was about five years ago. And I, I made up my mind then that I wanted to be one of the people that would push and put Antigua on, back on the map. I mean, of course, there, there, are, there are other ambassadors that are doing their thing. But, you know, uh, we were booked from the beginning. From the time the cruise started, we had a deposit. And people were like, listen, we want you here. So it was really good to, to know. And people came on the boat because mm. of you. Mm. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. Okay. So, I don't know if you know my nickname for you, but you are definitely the king of the anthem. Ah, boy. God. How do you come up with these anthems one after one? Um, I'll, t I'll tell you, it's really kind of weird. I've, I've always believed that a song, especially in Soka, should be a song that people could relate to, that people that people could identify with. I do. I do. <laughs> you know, if you can identify with it, you'll sing it wholeheartedly. So, like, that's why people, a lot of people are like, hmm, I'm a professional drinker. I'm not an alcoholic. I don't overdo it. I'm a professional. I can handle what I do. Um, you know, a lot of people were like, vagabonds. And these, these are things that people could identify with. Um, and we just gave them a, a medium where they could, you know, kind of get rid of the negative stigma of the word and embrace the, the fun aspect of it. So, you know, we just doing what we do. We like it. And we appreciate it. Thank you. So, Cassandra. <laughs> Can you tell us a little bit about your workout regimen? Because when we see you perform, you are jumping up and down that stage, boy. You have stamina for days. What do you do? How do we get like that? Well, I can tell you, in 2012, I went to perform in Antigua. And I was, I remember after the first 20 minutes of the set, I was winded. I had cramps on my ribs all, all over me. I just couldn't move. And I remember coming off the stage and telling myself, never again. Never again. And um, ever since then, I've been trying to run as much as I can, doing a lot of carb cardio. If I, when I when I work out, I at least try to do a mile to two miles, and if I'm working out constantly, at least a mile a day, at least a mile a day. Um, and and just try and get in that that breathing, those breathing exercises to make sure that when you're on stage and you're jumping and you know you want to be able to sing and say a word and and nobody in the crowd is supposed to say boy, Drew was winded, boy, Drew was out of breath, boy. I don't like that at all. Do you have goals to overtake all the island's car carnivals? Because I just see you every single place. Well, well, the goal is definitely to, to become a household name, not only in the Caribbean, but across the world. Um, you know, we would love for, for somebody in Germany to, to have a, a record, a draw, ID poster up on their wall. Um, somebody in Sweden, somebody in China, somebody in Africa. Um, and, and, you know, just to continue to build the brand. We call it world domination. We call it Soka to the world. <laughs> we want Soka to the world. Soka season. Yeah, and, and that's basically it, you know, we're just like, trying to build the brand to not only to uh, a regional level, international, world, global. And I think that's key to bring Soka up. The artists themselves have to understand the motion and the movement. That's right. That's we, right. We see that you get it. Well, I'm glad. I'm glad the hard work is paying off and people are seeing it. And you know, it, it, it's it's not just me. There are other artists that, that that are on the on on that bandwagon too. We we are tired of just going from here to, to that fet. And every year is the same circle of fets that you're doing. No, we want to tour the world. We want to show people what this happy music is about. So you're performing tonight. Mm -hmm. And we'd like to know if you want to give us a little clue of what specialness you're giving us tonight. Well, you're going to just have to come. Well, if you're not on the boat next year, you'll just have to come. But if you're on the boat, and well, you're not going to see this coming. <laughs> so, just plenty of energy, plenty of fun, man. Just good vibes, good vibes. The boat has had good vibes from the start. And we just will continue to bring that vibe, man. Enhance it. Do you have, are you doing anything with Trinidad 2017? Yes, yes, yes. We actually have a, quite a few things that we're doing. Um, we just released a song called Iron. Um, and we're releasing a couple more, a couple features to myself, Bungie Garland, myself, Lyrical. Um, those things we're doing, you know, later down in December. Great. Well, thanks for sitting down with us. 
Ricardo Drew, the ID Nation, with Soka Says on the Uber Soka Cruise 2016. Boom. <laughs>